Hey everybody, it's Sentopi, and welcome back to Zuder. In the last episode, um, we we did the bomb tube bowling mini game because we finally got bomb tubes, and then we started the spirit temple, and got pretty far in the spirit temple. I think we're almost done. In this episode, we're gonna finish the spirit temple, and if time allows, we'll do some other stuff too. Maybe depending on what items we get. Um. So yeah. We're just gonna continue the forest temple at forest temple. This is not the forest temple. The spirit temple, as usual. Um, so I think I'm just gonna go off and start with the comment question of the day for this episode. Um, so yeah, comment question of the day last episode was, oh, what is your least favorite mini game in Zelda games? Like, what is your Least favorite mini game of all Zelda games, um, and here are all your beautiful responses. I apologize, I just recorded that video, so I have not gotten a chance to read your responses because they have not been uploaded yet. But why can't I? Okay, crouch down and oh, look at that! Yeah, that's their favorite. Um, or that's their least favorite. Mine too. Uh, no, but <clears throat> all right, so. Now that you have time to read those responses, my answer is, um, I was thinking about it while I was, um, in the bathroom a little bit ago, and I would say the Slingshot mini game because, like, now the Slingshot mini game would be so much better if the sensitivity wasn't completely shit on the controller. In the 3DS version, however, when you're using gyroscope controls, that is so much easier, so... It's actually not that bad of a minigame. But, my least favorite minigame... I thought about this long and hard. And, it is probably... If it counts as a minigame, I'm, I'm gonna count it as a minigame because it kinda is like one. Um, in Majora's Mask, the part where you gotta stop the cow from being a... The cows from being abducted by aliens. Out of that, probably gives me the most anxiety out of anything in any video game ever. Because first of all, this that part just creeps me out for some reason. This is creepy to me. Um. Second of all, uh, when you're doing that, and you're just like. Minding your well, you're not minding your own business, but you're focusing on one ghost or a few ghosts, and then the next thing you know, you turn around and there's a ghost like five feet away from the barn, and it's just horrifying because also if you don't get that done, you have to go back to day one and restart everything to get back to that mini game, and that takes a little bit of time, and that's annoying. This just sucks. Okay. So yeah, that is definitely my least favorite mini game. Out of, I mean, I love and hate it at the same time because I do like how it's kind of creepy, and at the same time, I don't like it. So this, I'm going to. Wait, when did that get there? Has that chest always been there? Wait, I don't really... Do I need the boomerang for anything anymore? I mean, I, I needed to finish Lord Jabu Jabu. So yeah, that would be nice to get. Or the Lens of Truth, or Clear Sword. Even, um... Song of Storms would be nice, because then I could go do the... Bottom of the Well. So... Let's hope we get something good. Oh, that's what that. That's where the shortcut is. Bombs! Yay, bombs! They're fun. Now I can do the silver rupee thing. Um, I'm still thinking of that common question. Okay, this one's kind of similar to a one I've already asked, but um. So, if you know the. Nintendo released a Labo VR kit, so 
Um, and it's already getting support for Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild. Um, I actually just... I ordered it before the weekend and it arrived at my grandma's house while I was away in Pennsylvania. Uh, and I just got to build it last night and uh, try it out and it's pretty good. Surprisingly, like, thought because like Google Cardboard doesn't seem that good. Maybe it's just because like phone screens are smaller and it doesn't quite. Everything looks a little bit smaller than it should with like phone VR. But the Labo VR looks pretty much as immersive as the PlayStation VR. There's um, the resolution is wor a little bit worse, but. It still like makes you kind of feel like you're in the world. So, with that being said, I think I've tried to get over there once with hover boots and it didn't work. So I think I still need the long shot for this. The comment question for today is, what already existing Switch game would you like to see uh, get VR support? You can only pick one, and um, not all, not one of the ones they already announced. Like Breath of the Wild and Odyssey are already announced to have VR support. So, one that hasn't been announced yet. I will let you know in the next episode what I think. Actually, you know what? There's going to be two parts to this question. This comment question. Um... So, what is one already existing game that you want to see, uh, get, already existing Switch game that you want to see get, uh, VR support? And what is one game that you want Nintendo to make a VR version of? Or, like, like a new game in VR, is what I meant. An original game, not a port, for the VR with an already existing Nintendo IP. Iron Knuckles, leave me alone! Stop it! Naboru. Please, it's Link. You actually have never met me because you don't exist in this version in Randomizer. Until you're a sage. But you're not standing at the hole like you usually are in the actual game. Okay. Alright. Yes. Good. Fine. Excellent. Oh, the armor doesn't come off like usual? I forget. Yeah, because the armor comes off and reveals that it's Naboru. Because you don't know that at first, I don't think. Or do you? Well, you know that if you stay on the title screen, because the title screen kind of spoils that thing. Remember when games used to... They don't do that anymore, do they? Like, when you're on a title screen for a while, it doesn't show, like, a demo of the game, kind of, like, a gameplay. They used to be, like, every single game. No, I don't want to target you. Yeah, I know... Did that for... Like, oh, did that for Mario 64, did that for this game, Majora's Mask, Mario Sunshine, Wind Waker, I think. But, like, pretty sure, like, Mario Galaxy didn't have it, and, so yes, they haven't been doing that for quite a few years, but I didn't, I just realized that now. Which I don't know why that was a thing to begin with, because it's like... Why do you need to see... You already have the game. You're al already obviously sold on it, so why, why does it have like a little gameplay uh, trailer for me? Why would you just want to spoil like some of the stuff that happens in the game when you already own it? Die! I, I swear I hit that right through you. Isolated, come back here. Come on! Oh, I didn't know if it touched the ground with it. It does that. Come back! 
There you are. Ha! Gotcha. Bitch. What? How did that not... Come on. Oh, I had you. Wait. What? Did I hit her and it didn't show that I hit her? But she didn't make the hit animation and sound. Ooh, so sexy. Do they have boobs jiggle? It looked like they did. Wasn't that a thing? Like, a bunch of the characters' boobs didn't jiggle in, like, Smash Brothers because Nintendo was, like, against boob jiggle physics, but I guess they weren't back then when this game was made. I don't know. I know Mario's nose jiggles, though, in Mario Odyssey. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty hot. Ew. Her mouth looks weird. This heart container must be something good because... Because my map is telling me that there's nothing else I could do right now. After this. Either that or there's some way to get that chest in the room I thought I need the long chop for. Nope. You tried, bitch. Come on. Ice, please. That's not ice. I asked specifically for ice. Stop. I asked for ice flavor, not fire flavor. Thank you. Fast. Don't laugh at me, bitch! Ice? Thank you! I'm so happy. Die. Die. Damn it. How many times do I gotta hit you? That's fire! I don't want that. Ow! Fuck. One more fire, please? Thank you. You are so obedient sometimes. You listen to me. Yay! She's dead. Did they keep this cutscene in? I think they did. Boom, boom. She's dancing to it. Oh. Well, it's kind of in, but without the dialogue. What's it gonna be? The Zora Tunic! Oh my god! I'm putting it on right now. What's it gonna look like? What's it gonna look I'm so excited. Okay. That's really disappointing. Vanilla. So vanilla. Okay, well, I can start the water temple, so at least there's that with the water tunic. Boom, bum, boom, bum, 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 bum. Isn't this the spirit temple music? You are one temple late, bud. for that either there we go can I have those hearts please that'd be amazing because I am almost out of those so that was quite convenient that they showed up no bomb bomb is gone but I have full full bomb bag so it's quite all right
There we go. Clam. Clam, no. Clams. Spiky clams. Clam. There we go. Clam. And clam. Clam. Good clam. from the clams clams goodbye please don't hurt me ever I'm a good person never gonna let you down so I don't know what purpose you'd have for trying to kill me I got a recovery heart which I do not like temple is just a lot of silence just just trying to do things you know I do like this temple but it is quite tedious I will admit that those rocks are easy to kill I why you know why you know stop it stop Yes, there we go. Thank you. Jeez. No, stop. Just please. Please. No. Ow, you hurt me. You freaking bitch. No. Oh my god. Stop. 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 There we go. There we go. Oh, no. What is up here? Chest, open please. What are you? A key. That is good, that is beautiful. Chest, what you be? What you be, Chest? What you be? A key! Yay! I have three keys now. What's it gonna be? A key! Another key. That's great.
Ah, oh, shit. Like, like, leave me alone! Ah, oh, damn it. Like, like, you're an asshole, okay? Let's make that very clear. You are an asshole. Fuck! No, no, okay. Screw off! Thank you. Oh, wait. He didn't take my water tunic. In the randomizer, did they make it so he won't take your tunics? Oh, that would make sense because if for some reason you can't get to where a wallet would be. You can't get to a wallet chest because you need more than an, a regular sized wallet to be able to purchase um, tunics. So, makes sense. Come on. Come on. Just don't be scared of this hammering, you bitch. Stop being a pussy! Get over here! This recording is already longer than I wanted it to be. Come here. There we go. Got him in combat mode now. Instead of dodging me, he's like trying to fight me back. I have no idea why he wasn't doing that in the first place, but. Uh, is that Link's voice slowed down or a deeper pitch of Link's voice, or is it like a completely different voice? I don't know. Okay, what's this gonna be? Arrows. Okay, that's not... Huh. Well, hold on, let me... Oh, I can't... I don't have the Song of Time, so what do I do now? Hold on. Do one more thing real quick. Oh yeah, why did I think that I needed a long shot? Because I never tried that, I guess. There we go! Something good! Alright, something actually, finally, good. I wish I got that sooner. Yeah. Alright, so that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, and comment. Um, follow Sarah Molitor on Instagram, because she made this layout that you see on the screen um don't forget the comment question of the, of the day why do i always slur that um the comment question of the day which was um what is one switch already existing switch game that you'd like to see get labo support other than the ones that have already been announced and what is one game you would want to Nintendo to make like an original game with an already existing IP uh, specifically for the Nintendo Labo VR kit. So, yep, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Um, good. Bye.